So the R1 Shadow Hunter crossbow is now in Black Ops Cold War. If you haven't unlocked it yet, I have a good guide for unlocking it as fast as possible, and I'll leave a card for that on screen as well as a link in the description if you guys need to unlock it. The weapon looks really good in gold, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get this weapon gold quickly by giving you the best maps and game modes, the best class setup for this, and then the best tips and strategies in the game for earning the gold camo on the crossbow really easily. Now if you want to check out a specific guide for a specific camo challenge that I mentioned in today's video, so for example headshots, long shots, I'll have a card on screen for those videos, there'll be a playlist for that, and there'll be links for them again in the description. There'll also be timestamps in the description for each challenge, so if you want to jump to a specific one you can focus on that, but obviously I recommend sticking around until the end so you get the most out of this guide and don't miss out on any important tips. Without further ado, let's get into this gold crossbow guide. So the first main challenge with this weapon is to kind of level up the weapons. You need to get it to level 30 to unlock the final tier of weapon camo challenge and so how do you level up your weapons fast in Cold War? Well currently the best way to level up your weapons fast is in Fireteam Dirty Bomb in multiplayer or Outbreak in Zombies but if you're struggling with leveling up the weapon or want a more detailed guide for leveling up weapons fast I made a recent video on that and I'll have again a card for that on screen and a link in the description if you guys are interested in leveling up the weapons fast but anyway if not just go into Fireteam Dirty Bomb or Outbreak get the kills as fast as possible with the crossbow and then when you've got it leveled up most of the way then you can start to focus on the camo challenges so that by the time you get full level you can start working on some of the more difficult challenges. I'm gonna have one general class set up for this whole entire guide and unless otherwise stated you should use this setup that I'm mentioning here. There'll be a few changes for specific challenges but the main one is this one so you want to equip any primary weapon you want like an assault rifle, an SMG, a sniper or something. We're then going to put on the R1 Shadow Hunter as the secondary and we're going to put on the Microflex Optic. It's up to you guys what one but I like the Microflex one. For the perks I'm going to put on Flak Jacket in perk 1, Scavenger in perk 2 and then Cold Blooded or Gung Ho in perk 3. Gung Ho being to swap your weapons faster obviously. Then for the equipment you want to put on a stim shot for the tactical, ignore the lethal we don't need it and then for the field upgrade put on the field mic and for the wild card you want to put on danger close which lets you have double the amount of tacticals and lethals but also it lets you start with additional ammo so you have nine bolts in your crossbow instead of just six for the score streaks it doesn't really matter but the personal ones i like using are the spy plane the counter spy plane and the harp they're all non-lethal score streaks they don't take away from your kills and they're also important for one of the challenges which we'll talk about later on i think really the main map and game mode you should be using is nuketown 24 7 it's pretty much the only one i used and it should be good enough for all of your challenges so just use nuketown 24 7 you should be fine and don't really worry about any other game modes. So the first camo challenge is the spray camos where you have to get weapon kills and the maximum camo in that tier is the prosper camo where you need to kill 30 enemies with the R1 shadow hunter in multiplayer. Obviously this comes naturally when doing the other camo challenges and leveling up your weapons so completely ignore it we don't need to focus on it you'll get it super easy. Let's move straight on to the second camo challenge which are the stripes camos where you need to get long shots. So for the bengal camo the maximum camo you need to get 50 long shot medals with the R1 shadow hunter in multiplayer. The best optic I find for this is the Millstop Reflex Optic as it has the largest magnification and the best map again is Nuketown. It has several good long shot spots also because there's lots of enemies you've got a high flow and you can complete the challenge really quickly. My main tips for the long shots are to maximize the distance between you and the enemy wherever possible so push yourself back as far as possible. Use the ping system to check the distance you're at so to do that you press left on the d-pad and if you aim it at a specific object so for example a house you can see how far away you are from that point and a long shot distance with the crossbow needs to be 38 meters or more you need to be at least 38 meters away from the enemy to get the kill and that will count as a long shot now when shooting at an enemy from a long shot distance you'll note that the bullet drop will cause the crossbow bolt to dip lower than the height you aim it at so if you aim it at the enemy it might just dip down and hit the floor and therefore it won't kill them therefore you need to compensate for this by aiming about one third of the enemy's height above them so one third of their body height use that amount above their head and aim at that height in order to hit them to compensate for the curve that the arrow has. And if you do this you can get a long shot pretty much every time you aim at an enemy as you'll see in the gameplay hopefully. I really struggled with this challenge at first I was like this is ridiculously hard and then I realized that you just have to compensate a little bit and aim a little bit higher and once you get the hang of it and knowing where to aim it's really really easy. Now if you struggle try practicing obviously in multiplayer getting long shots don't worry about going for them first just practice to try and see can you get one and once you know oh that's how I get one then you can focus on that or alternatively you can jump into a private match and try aiming at bots at a long shot distance if you've got a friend you can even jump in a private match and say can you stand over there for me let me try and aim at you and once you know what to do to hit them then obviously you're golden and once you're comfortable with it just jump back into multiplayer and get on with the challenge to get those 50 long shots so the main strategy for me on Nuketown is basically there's two main good spots for getting crossbow long shots on this map so the first main one is from the 
greenhouse looking towards the yellow house's garage. Enemies will normally camp in the doorway between the house and the garage, so it's difficult to see them, but you can just see them through the crack of the door. Watch out for their red name tag, it will show up when they're there. If they're using a sniper as well, you might see that sniper glint from the scope, that white light. That means the sniper is looking at you, and obviously that helps you to see where they are. And then aim, like I say, about one third of their height above their head, which is often about halfway up to three quarters of the way up the doorway in the garage. I'll show you roughly where I was aiming in the gameplay, you'll see, when I was looking across at the garage. So aim about halfway up the doorway, possibly three quarters, and then that should hit them. And obviously hide behind the wall of the house when reloading or dodging enemy equipment. If you do that, it'll be ideal to kind of stay alive and get more kills. So that's the first main spot, and this is a really, really good one. The second main one is from the yellow house's garage to the greenhouse's garage, and you're aiming through the truck that's in the middle of the map. So you want to push yourself back as far as possible against the back of the garage, and you want to aim halfway up the doorway from the floor, and it should hit them. Those are the two main ones. There are a few other ones, so for example, from the middle of the map to the yellow house's garden spawns or to the greenhouse's garden spawns. But the first two I mentioned are the, are the main ones. Don't forget that all these long shot spots are reversible, so you can stand on either side of the map and get this done. Hope that's not too confusing, but that's kind of the main strategy. The one from the greenhouse to the yellow, looking at the garage, or from the yellow garage to the green garage. And obviously, don't forget, you can also be in the yellow garage looking at the greenhouse. So yes, those are the main ones. Doing that, it was really, really easy to get this challenge done. You'll see the gameplay, you'll see where I was, you'll see what I was doing, but honestly, if you follow this strategy, the long shot is probably one of the hardest challenges with this crossbow, and once you get that done, the rest is a lot easier. That's kind of a main challenge out the way. Okay, so next is the classic camo, where you need to get two kill streaks. So for the max camo, the ransom camo, you need to get two kills without dying 20 times with all kills coming from the R1 Shadow Hunter in multiplayer. So you only need to get two kills in a life and do that 20 times. I would say don't immediately focus on this challenge though, as you should unlock it naturally over time, especially as the final camo challenge for the crossbow is to get two or more kills rapidly 25 times, which obviously will generally require you to go on a two kill streak anyway. So therefore, focus on the rapid kills alongside this challenge. But if you are struggling with the classic camo challenges, here's a few quick tips. So first of all, don't rush around too much, pre-aim around the corners, reload when it's sensible, pay attention to your field mic, UAV, footstep noises, stuff like that, and then take cover when needed and don't engage in unnecessary gunfights that might cause you to lose. If you do those things, you should stay alive longer and get more kills. You could obviously use the stim shot to help you heal as well. Next is the geometric camos to get headshots. So for the bloodline camo, you need to get 50 headshot medals with the R1 Shadow Hunter in multiplayer. My main tips for this are obviously to aim for the head. A lot of people might be just sort of randomly firing. Aim for the head, obviously, make it your goal. Don't rush around too much, have a slightly slower play style. Adjust your sensitivity to make sure it's not too high or too low so that you're not skipping past the enemy when you're trying to aim at them, but you're not taking too long to aim at their head. So get the right sensitivity for you. Use flashbangs or stun grenades to immobilize the enemies for easy headshots. You can warm up in custom games if you're struggling as well, you know, practicing getting headshots on bots. And again, kind of use your mini-map, your UAV, footsteps and so on to search out the enemies and kind of find where they are. Take advantage as well of enemies that you can come up behind if they don't know you're there, or if they're poking their head out of a window or from behind cover, that's an easier target. Occasionally you'll also see enemies in the spawn as well. If they're not moving, try and get a free headshot on them. And hopefully those tips help you get headshots. But if you need more help with headshots, again, I've got a guide for that and they'll be in the description or a card on screen. What about the flora cameras? Well, for this, you need to kill 50 enemies that are detected, stunned or blinded by score streaks, equipment or field upgrades in multiplayer. The max camo for this is Cherry Blossom to get those 50 kills and I would say the first part of this challenge will probably come naturally. You know, you'll call in the UAV and get a few kills with it while you're doing the other challenges, but the remainder of the progress can be a bit harder. Here are some tips. So first of all, the class setup, you want to adjust it slightly. So you want to keep the Danger Close wildcard on to get two tacticals in the slot, but you want to swap the Stim Shot for the Stun Grenades, obviously, and you want to keep the Field Mic equipped as the Field Upgrade. You want to put on the Tactical Mask perk in Tier 1, the Gear Head perk in Tier 2 to reduce the Field Upgrade cooldown, and also it allows you to store two of them in one go, which allows you to use more Field Mics, which for me, it seemed to be where the bulk of my camo progress came from, from the field mics. So obviously having this perk really helped with that. The main score streaks you want to put on are the spy plane and the harp, and you want to call these in when it's sensible and possible, and you want to get as many kills as you can while the UAV or harp is active. Now, as far as I know, this only counts with the UAVs and harps that you call in, not anyone else. So it's not like a friendly calls it in and you get kills, it has to be your UAV or your harp that you're calling in and getting the kills while they are active. 
And then for the game mode, the better game modes can be on objective modes in Nuketown. So domination, hardpoint, those kind of modes. That can attract enemies to one place and then you can either put a field mic down or throw a stun grenade, whatever, and get those kills. To be very clear here, the things that currently do and don't count towards the challenge are as follows. So the main things that do are the stun grenades or flashbangs, so you can use either of those, the spy plane, the harp and the field mic. Everything else don't bother using because it doesn't count. So these are things like the counter spy plane, the jammer, the gas mine. So those are the main things that don't count. And also just as a little side note, I believe enemies that have ghost perk on, if you call in the spy plane, the kills won't count for them. Or if they have ninja on, it won't count if you use the field mic. Or if they've got tactical mask on, I believe it might not count when you're throwing stun grenades. Give it a try, but I believe it doesn't count. So just watch out for that, which can be very annoying, unfortunately. The only other thing you could do is hopefully find a lobby where there's not too many people with those perks on. So my main tips for this challenge are to try use the equipment as soon as possible, you know, throw stun grenades around corners if you think someone might be there, and kill them as soon as they're stunned, because as soon as the stun effect goes away, it doesn't count anymore if you kill them. It has to be while they're stunned, or while they're active on the minimap, or whatever it is. The field mic is a great way to find and kill enemies, as I said, obviously, so especially in high flow areas of the map. So for example, placing them near a door that is frequently run through, or also on Nuketown, you can place it near the enemy house or behind the bus on your side of the map. It's a great way to get a wide enemy coverage on the map, so there's lots of people there but it's not so obvious that the enemies will instantly find it and destroy it because obviously then you've got to wait for another one and be aware that only the enemies inside of the field mic radius count towards this challenge now you'll know when a kill counts towards this challenge because it will say something in white writing like plus 25 score for killed stunned enemy or plus 25 killed revealed enemy or plus 25 killed detected enemy it will say something like that where you killed a enemy where they're either stunned revealed or detected something like that and if it says that you know it's counted towards the challenge if it doesn't say that it hasn't counted so just watch out for that when you kill them it should say that and then you'll know it counts towards the progress obviously this challenge can be quite difficult for some people so if you're struggling with that you want some more help check out my video i've got one dedicated to that again there'll be a card for that on screen and a link in the description if you guys need that so next up it's the science camos and this is where you need to get five one-shot kills in a single game 10 times the max camo for this is policia and really all kills with the crossbow should be one-shot kills anyway especially in new Town. So this is not really a big challenge. The only caveat is that I believe the enemy may have to be at full health so I don't think you can shoot them with another gun beforehand or kill them if they've already been injured by another player. So it kind of needs to be an enemy with full health but don't go selectively cherry picking who you do and don't kill. This is such a straightforward challenge I think that you should be able to just complete it quite easily without focusing on it. So just kill as many people as you can with the crossbow. You should get it but just be aware I think that they have to have full health. If anyone knows differently then obviously feel free to correct me in the comment section because I'm not 100% sure but that's that's what I believe is the case. So at this point we've just got these psychedelic camos left, the rapid kills, these can be a bit frustrating sometimes, so how do we get this done? Well to get the bliss camo you need to kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. This can sometimes come fairly easy when going for the other challenges and you could try and overlap it with the two kill streak challenge but here's my kind of main tips for getting this challenge done. So first of all reload when you're not near enemies so you're less likely to need to reload during gunfights. I know obviously you've only got one bolt but don't start reloading if you're out in the open push towards enemy spawns or high flow areas and hold down that area to look for enemies it can be great to hang around the objective so for example domination on nuketown or a hard point or whatever on nuketown and wait for several enemies to show up to take a flag back and then obviously once you've got several enemies there go for them and hopefully you can kill them quick enough to get this challenge done it's good to be at close range with the crossbow to get these kills easily and quickly so try and do that and you should be able to have about three to five seconds between kills for this to count but obviously try and go for them as soon as possible it can be annoying sometimes that you have to reload between every bolt with the crossbow so obviously you need to get that over as quickly as possible and then get back to killing them so you need to have two enemies quite near you really it can be worth trying to take cover between shots while reloading just to avoid you dying and obviously you can also use a stim shot quickly to reheal if possible so those kind of main tips are the best way to go for the rapid kills now previously when the crossbow accidentally came to the game last week before they properly like fully released it the challenges were a bit more difficult i'm assuming they just carried over from the m79 special weapon there were ones like for example kill enemies taking cover from you, destroy three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times, stuff like that. But luckily Treyarch updated the challenges when the crossbow was properly released and it removed those challenges and put on these challenges which are a bit easier. So hopefully these camera challenges won't be too difficult for you guys, but this is the best, easiest and fastest way to get the crossbow gold. If you need help with any other specific challenges mentioned in this video, or if you need help with getting camos done for any other weapons, there'll be a camo guides playlist again in the description of the card on screen. And within that there'll be videos for all the specific 
specific challenges that you need help with. So go and check that out if you're interested. If you found this useful, be sure to leave a like, it really helps me out and obviously it helps other people find the video. And if you like what you see, obviously feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on by clicking that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my latest Cold War and Warzone videos. I've got lots of camo guides still coming, obviously I've got loads of them done, but for specific guns I've got loads coming, loads of DLC weapon unlock videos, best class setups, how to level up your tiers fast, all that kind of stuff and for any kind of challenge guys they'll be here on the channel but thanks for watching hope you found it useful and hopefully i'll see you all guys on the next video